I want to make a game. But there's just one small issue. I have no idea how. So I'm going to spend as long as it takes learning Unity until I can make a game that's good enough to put on Steam. <laughs> it should be too hard, right? <laughs> so enough yapping. Let's download Unity and create my game. So I opened up Unity for the very first time and I was instantly met by, wait, what the hell is this? But I learned how to make a square and then I made this capsule looking thing, shoved the camera into its face and programming, <laughs> copy paste that shit. And now I've got a fully functioning moving character. Okay, apparently I forgot to uh, do this. And look, we're making progress. I have a first person character. I then started watching some tutorials on how to make terrain and mountains and stuff. And oh my gosh, this looks, <laughs> this looks great. And I also figured out how to add a grass, which looks really cool. And then I wanted to make a tree. So I just made like a cylinder, put a circle on top of the cylinder. What the hell is even that? I then managed to find this ax online. And yeah, you definitely use a medieval battle ax to chop trees. So anyway, I continued learning, watching tutorials. I made some incredible animations and then finally decided to try my magnum opus. So anyway, my game is now in the Steam store, ready for download. <laughs> so it was made apparent very quick that my game is dog shit. And I definitely needed to learn a lot more. And you know when I was flaming programming like a minute ago? Well, I actually do need to learn how to program in Unity, so uh, yeah, that should be really fun. Why is this not working? All right. So yes, I continued with the tutorials and I eventually found this official Unity course. And luckily for me, it's in Spanish. Dude, literally just the title changed to Spanish, the rest is still in English. So anyway, I started the course and it actually helped a lot. And after that, I went back to watching tutorial after tutorial after tutorial. And I started experimenting in my own games with things like collisions. I made a game with a ball that rolls. I was still watching tutorials and I found this dude called Code Monkey, and this dude is an absolute legend. The way that he teaches programming Unity is so good. Honestly, I was improving so fast. And I found myself getting more comfortable with more complicated mechanics. I then decided to try create a game completely on my own. And I made this 3D Flappy Bird clone with infinite level generation, which was pretty cool. I then followed some other videos and ended up making this cool 2D Flappy Bird game as well. I then decided I'll try my hand at designing levels and stuff. And I learned you can make outside box become inside box which was just like a really easy way to create a room and this was really fun to learn i actually really like designing these levels and after a little bit of experimenting i ended up making this cool game of sliding doors and a gun with animations and muzzle flash i made vents that you could open and close and crawl through and i was doing all of this while studying full time in university so i was going for max efficiency i decided to take a unity course in my university and i was put into this group project where we made this really cool little game for you it's been about three minutes for me it's been 10 months and I think it's finally time for me to start to make my Steam game. So you have your character. You have tree. I swear it will be better than last time. You can then get an axe and chop the tree, which in turn will give you wood. Man, what is this groundbreaking game? You can then sell the wood and upgrade your axe, which allows you to chop better trees, which then allows you to get better tools until you get tools that can basically just like nuke a forest. So my idea for the level is that you start in the center of the forest, where you'll be surrounded by rings of different types of trees. You then have to chop trees, upgrade your tools, and progress through each ring of trees. And at the end, there's going to be this epic boss fight. Now, does this sound super ambitious for my first game? Maybe. Am I going to regret it? Probably. So I selected my new Unity project and created it. The first thing I did was get my character movement and camera ready. And then I got to work creating a tree. You know what? This will do for now. It looks better than the last one. And now I can also duplicate it. So I got to work doing some programming for the tree logic. And there we go. We have a fully functioning tree chopping system. Thank goodness. I then decided to make this little UI that I could see how much wood I'm actually gathering. I then created a little XP bar in Photoshop and set it up in my Unity project. And there you go. Every time you chop a tree, you get a certain amount of experience. And then I had an idea. What if I added a skill tree into my game? And then I thought it's literally just a game about chopping trees. Why would I need a skill tree? That's just completely unnecessary. It'll just make more headaches. So I got to work making the skill tree. And you know, it was actually going pretty well. And then I literally spent like two hours messing around in a shader graph and I could not figure out why it was not working. I just had no idea. Turns out the whole time, I just had to change one drop down. And all of that was just so the skill tree icons can be transparent. 
what am I doing? But finally, after all that, I finally had a fully functioning skill tree. And I still don't know why I created it. But then it was finally time for store. So the first thing I did was created Q. I got to work creating the UI for my store. I promised that all these assets and UI are temporary. And in the end, it will not look like dog shit. But anyway, I got my shop working and now I can buy items. But I wanted to have a different place where I could sell my wood. So I made Q. Went back and did some more programming. I also created this little UI where I can see my tools. And after even more programming, and now after all that, I finally had a system where I could buy a tool, equip the tool, chop down the trees, sell the wood for money, chop down even more trees, buy the next tool, and there we go, it's all working, thank goodness. But then I had a realization. Even if temporarily, my game currently does look Blender, what the hell even is that, dude? I don't even feel like a smoothie. So instead, for the meantime, I went to the Unity Asset Store and found this really cool low-poly environment. Which I yoinked and put it into my project. Got to work making some terrain. I created some hills and stuff and added some textures. Added more grass. Found a button that just places a shit ton of trees everywhere, which ultimately broke my fucking game. But there was also still an issue where I could literally just walk through all these trees, and it just turns out that the collider doesn't carry over when you mass place trees. So back to the Unity store, I found this prefab painter, and I started painting my trees. But it turns out, if you paint a lot of trees, computer no like, and computer go boom boom. And that's where I discovered something called LOD or level of detail. And basically what it does is the further you zoom away, it will change its model to be one of a lower quality. And there we go. The performance seems to be working better. And now I can also chop down my trees. I also found this cool looking ass on the ass. <laughs> what the f I also found this cool looking axe on the asset store and decided to put this axe into my game. And here we go. Here is the progress of my game so far. And I really don't want to keep using other people's assets, so I guess I'm going to have to learn Blender. Well, anyway, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this type of video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Just made an album seven days, that's quick. Boobies going up and down, she's fit. Hold up, wait, rewind that shit. Got uncut gems, Adam Sandler, pit. She a vegan, she got a thigh gun. Get my B.O. smell good, it's my line left. My team E, yeah, we did a lot. I'm a cash rat, always do a buyback. Down payment on the home metropolis. I'm a healthy cereal monogamous.